Hey guys, it's Sarah and today is Booklist Thursday. This is a video series I do with my friend Lindsay over at Lindsay's Little Library. And every Thursday we bring you some sort of list or book topic that we feel like talking about for the week. And this week we are going to actually share your favorites that we asked for last week when we did our giveaway. We asked you for what your favorite books of the year have been so far and we are going to share some of those with you today. So I have chosen to share some of the more popular answers, it's the ones that came up over and over and over again as I was reading through the comments I was making notes and seeing which ones were kind of popping up a whole lot. So I have 10 here to share with you and these are the ones that popped up a whole, whole lot. And I happen to have copies of all of them, which is fantastic. I have read most of them, not all. So I'm going to share those with you and then at the end we are going to do the giveaway. By far the most popular answer that I got for your favorites of the year were Fourth Wing and Iron Flame. It was no contest. These two came up constantly, <laughs> which is no surprise to me. These are also gonna be my favorites of the year and I'm kind of including them as one, but yeah, I'm completely obsessed with this series the same way a lot of people are and I absolutely love them. So fantasy, dragons, obsessed. I have, I've read this one twice this year. I reread it right before I read Iron Flame and I need book three yesterday. Coming in at a second place and the rest of them are not in order, but this one was definitely second place. This one came up consistently as well. This is Remarkably Bright Creatures by Shelby Van Pelt and I love this book as well. This will definitely be in my top 10 of the year. I just fell in love with these characters, especially Marcellus the Octopus, because you get his inner monologue and it is perfection. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I absolutely love this one. Um, it's a really good look at grief as well um, because we are following an older woman who has dealt with some things in her life and then her connection with this octopus as well. And there's also some other things happening, you know, with other characters in the background, but yeah, it was just a beautiful story. One that I was very happy to see on that list, actually, uh, I'm surprised how often this one came up, but Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. She has become a favorite author of mine. I've read three of her books now and I plan to read the rest of them next year for sure. And I just love her writing. It's fun. It's funny. She as a person is hilarious. <laughs> I follow her on Instagram and she's a great follow. She's just really funny. And that shows up in her stories as well. But there's also a depth to these. These are not just light, fluffy, whatever. There's some depth to them. There's usually some sort of something that's being tackled in here as well that adds a little bit more of an element to it to where it's not just fluff and, you know, like there's substance in here. And I absolutely adore her, both as a person and an author. Another one that came up a whole lot and is now going to go on my priority reads for next year because of how often this came up is The Wishing Game. This is by Meg Schaefer. And this was a big book that a lot of people were reading during our last Book to Besties reading retreat over the summer. So many people were reading this book at the time of the retreat. Like, I was, we were like, did you guys form a secret book club we didn't know about? Like, what's happening? <laughs> um, and yeah, so I actually did not have a copy of this book, but during the retreat, uh, my friend Candace sent me a message. She said, I'll send you my copy. And I was like, okay. So she did send me um, her copy, which was very sweet. But I have not read this one yet, so I can't really speak to what it's about. I know it, it has something to do with reading, and I feel like it's a little bit of a twist on like Willy Wonka type thing from what I'm remembering very vaguely. Uh, but it's going to go on my list of priority reads to read next year because of how popular it was this year and how many people were reading it and saying it was a favorite. I was so happy to see this one pop up on this list because this is a backlist book, um, but The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Clune came up quite a bit and I adore this book. This is one of my top 10 books of all time, like favorites. And every time I think about this book, I just get like dreamy eyed and just like, oh, because I loved it so much. It's a fantasy about these orphans who are staying in a house, like an orphanage, but that's not really what it's called. And they have magical powers, but their magical powers are very dangerous to the rest of society. So they ha they're kind of sequestered onto this island. And we follow a social worker who is going to this island and to this house to check up on them and make sure that they're being cared for properly. And it's kind of their whole story. And he gets to know these children and he gets to know the caretaker. And it's just beautiful inside and out. I absolutely love this book. There is a sequel coming out next year. 
there's a cover for it. I'm dying. <laughs> like I'm so excited. That's probably going to be my most anticipated book of next year, hands down. And I just can't wait for that. So yeah, but this is just a top tier book for me. Okay, another one that I have not read that came up quite a bit was Demon Copperfield by Barbara Kingsolver. I have not read a book by Barbara Kingsolver yet, uh, but I do plan to. I definitely want to read this one. Obviously, I purchased a copy of it, but this won the Pulitzer Prize for this past year. And I believe that this is a little bit of a take on David Copperfield, and it has a lot to do with the drug pandemic um, that happens in our country and, you know, someone dealing with that. So that's kind of what I remember getting. I hear it's dark and gritty and raw and I definitely want to get into it for sure. And this cover is just, I could look at it all day and see new things. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, so this one came up quite a bit as well. Okay, another one that came up quite a bit, and I completely agree with this one as well, and that's Drowning by T.J. Newman. I read this almost in one sitting. It's not a very long book, but I could not stop. It was just action the entire time. And, you know, I was just so tense the entire time reading this and needing to know what was going to happen. And I fell in love with these characters, even though it's short. This is not a long book, but the way that we got to know these characters in here was just brilliant. And I cared about them so much. This book made me cry. It made me cry, guys. I'm not a crier, but this one made me cry. And I just, I absolutely loved it. I cannot wait to read her other book, Falling. I have it on my shelves. Don't, haven't read it yet, but um, this one was fantastic. It'll be in my top 10 for this year as well. Spoiler alert for my top 10. I won't say anything else. Okay, one that I read last year that was one of my favorites as well is Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus. A lot of people are reading this this year because the adaptation just came out on Apple TV. I have not watched it yet, but I plan to. Um, but I absolutely love this book as well. It was fantastic. And it's historical, uh, set in the late 50s, early 60s, and we're following a woman who is a scientist and her trying to... Uh, <laughs> get the men in the industry to take her seriously because they don't. And um, just kind of like, it really tackles the roles of men and women in the workplace and at home. And uh, she kind of turns that upside down and she was a fantastic character. So yeah, I love this one. And speaking of Rebecca Yaros, another one that popped up of hers besides Fourth Wing was The Last Letter. And I was really happy that this popped up a couple times because I really want to read this one. This will probably be the next book by her that I read. I really want to get into her romance books now. And um, this one will definitely be the first one that I read because I've had this book for a long time. I bought this like way before <laughs> uh, Fourth Wing and Iron Flame. I just hadn't read it. The first one I read by her was Fourth Wing. So I've had this for quite a long time and I've heard really good things about her romance. It's definitely going to be different than that, obviously, because they're not the same genre. Um, but I'm really interested to get into this. And now that I've met her two times, I just, I'm all in on her as an author. She's just the sweetest thing and I really want to support her. So um, next year, I'm going to be getting into her romance books for sure to kind of hold me over until the next <laughs> fourth wing book comes out. Um, but yeah, so I was happy that this one showed up. And then the last one that I'm going to share that showed up quite a few times is Yellow Wife. This is by Sakita Johnson. And I've heard amazing things about this book. It follows a woman who is the daughter of, I believe, an enslaved woman and the man who owns her. Uh, and she's the daughter of those two. So it's kind of her navigating that whole situation um, and, you know, around everybody that is in their lives and how she's treated differently. So I've heard really, really, really good things about this one. And Lindsay loved this one too. So um, yeah, I will get to it. Haven't read it yet, but obviously definitely want to. Okay. And now we are going to pick a winner for the giveaway. So um, I have a random comment generator pulled up on my phone. I'm going to generate it and then I will show you a screenshot of the winner um, as soon as it pops up. My phone's being a little bit slow right now, so it's kind of like buffering a lot. I don't know what's going on. I think the internet's having some issues right now connecting, so I'm just going to do a screenshot when I'm done. But um, yeah, we are going to go ahead and I will generate a winner. All right, so Celtic Knit One, you are the winner of the giveaway. I'm going to be sending you a coffee mug and a $25 Barnes & Noble gift card. So I'm gonna screenshot those. And then her favorite book was Golden Spoon by Jessa Maxwell, which is awesome. I really, really, really wanna read that book. 
<laughs> so I'm very happy that that is that was your favorite. So that's one that um, I also really want to read. So yay. Okay, guys, that is it for today. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And uh, to the winner, I will go back and let you know on the comments of the last video that you have won and get your information and all that good stuff so I can get your prize sent out to you. We'll work that all out. But those are some of your favorites for the year. I'm very excited about that. I am currently trying to put together my list. I know my winners, but um, the rest of them, I'm going to have a hard time picking. <laughs> I'm gonna have a hard time narrowing it down this year. I think I've read some really, really, really good books. So it's a good problem to have, right? All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And again, thank you so much for sticking with us with Book Looks Thursday. Your support means everything to us for real. So make sure you go check out Lindsay because she's going to be sharing some of the answers that she found on her video. And she'll be picking a winner of the giveaway for hers as well. So make sure you go head over there. I'll have her link down below and we will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.